Hey everyone, this is Eric, and I'm gonna show changing out a waveguide on the microwave. This is an older Kenmore microwave, and it looked like it was starting to shoot sparks, like a piece of metal was actually in there. Did some research and found out that the waveguide cover needed to be replaced. So I'll show you right now. So inside of this microwave, there's a waveguide cover, and this is the new one that I just replaced. I'll show you, this was the old one. And you can see how it looks like sparks and everything. We're kind of cooking this thing. So um, this new one I got off of Amazon and the way it works is that there's these little plastic fasteners that you could pull out and you pull all these out. I mean, I just use my fingernail and just kind of get them out. And there's like a little holder that holds these in too. So you just pull these out and you know you get this O one out. This is how mine is. And then you know I just kind of pull these out too. I mean I got this new one in snug, but these come out just like that. They're just like little fasteners that just pop in place and then this center one comes out also. So I mean it's pretty straightforward. And um, what I did was I took this old one and the new one, I actually got two pieces here and I just put the old one on top of the new one basically and took a Sharpie, which my kids have here on the floor and uh, just basically just marked the holes, you know, the four holes on the outside and the one on the inside and I took a drill right here with a unibit and just, uh, just slowly drilled out each one of these holes. And once I got it just right, I basically put the new one back in its place. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this new one back in, uh, let it run for about 20, 30 minutes, make sure it's not shooting sparks. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link down below for the part if anybody needs this. So it looks like that is the fix. I'm gonna go ahead and make a second one just for maybe five years from now so I can throw this old one away. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this thing. So basically you can see I made my mark with a Sharpie in each four corner and the one in the center. Now I'm gonna take my unit bit on a drill just slowly drill these out. So basically this is what I'm doing, just taking it and slowly and drill it in the middle of each hole. Just putting a little bit of pressure on it. So now I have a backup wave guy cover. And I'm just gonna stick it up here in case five years from now I need one. <laughs> but that's the fix for it. So thanks for checking out the video. I uh, hope it helps somebody, you know what I mean? You can save spending $150 on a new microwave in the actual time it takes to replace it. Yeah.